Welcome to Stump the Scientist. Hi everyone, we're here with Jim Bray, our Chief Scientist at Global Research. Today our Facebook friend Lino would like to know, why is it so difficult to harness and predict static electricity? It is inherent wherever opposing charges exist, which would seem to make it a perpetual clean form of renewable energy. From that sense, we should be able to charge capacitors anywhere in a variety of environments. What do you think? Okay, interesting question. We'll take it on for Lena. It's true, as you say, you know, that there are positive and negative charges everywhere in matter, and in fact all the atoms have them. The problem is that they're always in their lowest energy state normally, and that means they're in their ground state, as we call it. So you can't get any energy out of that because there's no lower energy state for the charges to go into to give you any energy. So what happens in static electricity is that by some means we move the positive and negative uh, electrons and protons apart. And when we move them apart, they're in a new higher energy state. And then we can get energy out of that, but we had to put the energy in first. Now, you often notice this effect when you walk across a carpet in a dry room, touch a doorknob, you feel the static electricity, you've moved some positive and negative charges apart by the friction of walking across the carpet. Another common example I'll show you. Take a comb, a piece of paper, nothing happens. But if I rub it through my hair, I'll move by friction some of the positive and negative charges apart and now the paper joins the comb. So we've added some energy for that to happen. So it's not a reliable way of producing energy. It is a reliable way of storing energy in certain devices like the capacitors you mentioned that are used in ele electrical engineering. Now in nature, the place that we see the most glaring example of static electricity is lightning. In that case, we've created a static charge between the ground and the clouds by the motion of the air and the water droplets and a thunderstorm between the ground and the cloud. Then the, ch the static charge discharges by means of lightning between the cloud and the ground and we see it. So I hope that helps. Watch out for the lightning.